Hello everyone, it's me Vintage Gaudi. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel and welcome to a little unboxing video, the first unboxing video in this year 2024 and I'm super excited for it. This packaging came the whole way from America right next to me in Switzerland and it has some cute toys in it, mostly Polly Pockets, Angel Pocket, but also some Barbie items and a lot of cute little extras. <laughs> I bought this stuff, these items from Julie. Julie's also on, in, uh, on, on YouTube um, under the name Just a Jam Girl. And Julie does some live auctions and I love to be part of those auctions because it's always so much fun and um, we have a real good time there with these auctions and of course I buy also some things and um, yeah those things came here to me and are now in front of us and I want to show you what's inside of it. So this video is split in three parts. The first part are like the goodies, the little extras. Second part is about the um, Barbie item that I have. And the last part is about the Polly Pocket slash Angel Pockets that I actually also bought there. So let's dive into it. This packaging, enough from talking, we want to see what we got. This tissue paper first with this glitter extra. This is cool. I have never seen those here in Switzerland, so I'm really cool and I will keep this one for sure. <laughs> so what do we have? Oh, there is a lot of stuff in here. Um, just as a side note, the candies and also some a little present that she placed inside of it, of this packaging, I already took out. The candies I already have eaten <laughs> and the little um, surprise that she gave to me is actually yeah in use <laughs> so we made like um, Christmas packaging so I sent to her family um, some Christmas uh, presents from Switzerland and then she placed in my order some presents from her so this is a mix of what I bought and what is like from her Christmas <laughs> first of all cute little card um, that she had made cute little um, dwarf, <laughs> I hope it's called like this, really adorable, already read the message, so cute, thank you so so much. Now let's go into the goodies or into the extra things that are here inside. So one thing that I got is, or are these Polly Pocket socks, um, these are, I'm not sure from where they are actually, but they got this embroidery I love or yeah, I love Polly Pocket, so this is actually also the Polly Pocket logo or parts of it, this hard detail. And yeah, love these socks. They are being now part of my socks. <laughs> I will use them, of course, yes. Then um, she all, um, has a lot of um, yeah extras, as I mentioned. In her live auctions, um, they are also doing like um, games. So whenever you purchase something, then you can probably win in a game. And um, sometimes I got luck and I got something and sometimes you don't have luck and you don't get something. So, but what I got are a lot of things from um, Hello Kitty. So we got here, what else do we have? Stickers. Oh yeah, we got a lot of Hello Kitty. First of all, I got this Hello Kitty and Friends um, stickers, these holographic stickers, love them. I'm at the moment totally into cute stickers. <laughs> I don't know why, but somehow they remind me of my childhood as I also had there a lot of stickers. So cute holographic stickers. Also this adorable Hello Kitty card. So yeah, thank you note on it, really cute. This is from 2023 San Rico. Adorable, really cute little card. And also some Hello Kitty stickers in here, really adorable. <laughs> stickers, always something good. <laughs> and then I also, or I think I won this one in um, one of her games, a Hello Kitty keychain. And this Hello Kitty is actually in this red liquid. So it's floating around in it, so really cute. <laughs> Can I manage to show you the face? It always turns on the other side. Yeah, <laughs> anyways, this is the Hello Kitty keychain that I also got from her. I love these little kind of knickknacks or little, yeah, 
surprises that's always so much fun um, to unbox because often when I yeah purchase something from her I totally forgot what I bought and then when the package arrives and it's like oh yes I bought that now I remember totally forgot about it and all the other little things inside of it was like okay <laughs> I did not know that I had these those things in here so yeah also really cute is this one here um, like yeah you can write down notes or to-do list and then check what you have done love this for work great for my work <laughs> really cool and I think this one's um, they placed inside as a Christmas gift um, for me these are also some things I think from Hello Kitty the cin cinnamon roll and the pom 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 puri pom pom puri <laughs> hope i'm saying it right um, these ones are so cool i did not know that they still exist i remember them from like the 2000s where you um yeah can make some figurines and then with the iron you melt them together so i had no idea they still exist really cool love to try them out <laughs> later so yeah adorable really really cool thank you so much and this one here is a squish melon, squish mellow, squish, squishy thingy. <laughs> and this one I have won on, on one of her games. And this is so cute. This is like a little oil. It's called Gloria, I think. Not Gala. Gala is its name. And I will definitely put this one here in my mini camper van as a little decoration because I think it's, it looks really adorable. So cute. They all came with like um, some notes, but I won't read them. So yeah, <laughs> the video will take too long. Also something that it was inside of this packaging is this um, pen, um, Berry Blast, and it is scented. So this smells, yeah, like berries, <laughs> obviously. And when I smelled or when I, um, yes, kind of sniffed at it, um, it gave me kind of a backflash to my childhood because this sentence here, or this yeah, smell, um, reminded me back then as a child I had um, the bigger ones, the bigger pens um, that had those sentences, so like strawberry, sherry, whatever they yeah smelled like. And this one smelled like one of those and I was like, oh, I remember this smell, this is so cool. So this pen definitely a childhood memory for me even though it's a modern pen but yeah <laughs> I love the smell of it so yeah <laughs> totally cool now let's go into the items I think these were all the goodies inside as I mentioned one little um, present was inside that I already took out and a box with um, candies that I already have eaten so yeah <laughs> now I'm showing you um, first the Barbie that um, she placed inside so this one was also not a thing that I purchased, so she um, gifted this one to me as a Christmas present and that's so cute. I love Barbie books. I love the artwork from those Barbie books back then. Um, they're so made with love. So these drawings, these characters are yeah, made with love. You can feel the passion of those creators. I th uh, well, I think that you feel these passions from them. So this book is A Rose for Barbie, a sentence storybook with seeds you can plant. And this is the front of the cover of the book. It's basically a hardcover um, book. And now I want to show what's inside of it. Here it's supposed to be the, um, the seeds, the, the rose seeds. Um, of course, they are, not, they, they are not inside anymore. So the kid that got this book back then, for sure planted or tried to plant these um, roses or rose seeds and um, took it out. And then it says also a scented storybook with seeds. So I'm not sure if the seeds were scented or the book itself because the book itself does not smell anymore. So I'm not sure um, if the, the sentence was, yeah, has gone with the years or if only the seeds were scented. So this is the kind of first page. Then we got here cute little not little it's amazing artwork so Barbie's doing gardening together with Skipper I won't read the story on it because it would take too long so we go quickly through the pictures if you want to read the story you can pause the video read it and then continuing with the video but here we got 
Barbie and Skipper doing some backyard gardening, a lot of roses, a lot of different plants she or they have in the backyard. Then here we can see Barbie's carrying around maybe some um what could be could they be? Um we are calling them apricosen. Not sure how they are called in English, but it looks like apricosen, apricots maybe. <laughs> and then here you can pause if you want to read it. And here suddenly Ken comes in his red cabriolet, followed by Christy, Mitch and Teresa. So adorable! They all joined the gardening of Barbie. So here is the next part of the story. You can pause and read it. And then this is the neighbor's house. And yeah, little story from the neighbor. So they... Um, the neighbor is not amused on the gardening and on the sounds that the friends are doing there. So yeah, but you can see here the flowers from Barbie, a lot of different flowers, really cute. And here Barbie and, and Christy, or no, it's, it's Skipper and Christy. Skipper and Christy actually, yeah, doing gardening. Then next up here, the next part of the story. <laughs> and we can see here the friends. And Barbie, she's really cute. I am not sure actually if um, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure if I have seen this outfit already before, but I think it was a kind of a budget doll line where she's wearing like a similar outfit of it. So actually not sure, maybe some sort of Easter um, Barbie or spring Barbie or something, but I'm, yeah, not 100% sure to, um, that I've seen this pattern before, but I think I might have. <laughs> and um, Mitch here, Chris, the skipper and Ken, really adorable. This is art. <laughs> I love it. Then we got here, Barbie made a surprise for all of her friends. So she has planted roses with those names. So these roses are Mitch roses. Down here we got the Christy roses, Skipper, Ken roses and Teresa roses. All the different colors of roses and the different smells are described in here. So this is the story. If you want to read it, <laughs> then you can pause it. Um, yeah, and by the way, I do myself love roses. Um, I don't have a garden, but I do have a kind of a bigger um, balcony. And on that balcony, I plant a lot of things. So mostly eatable things um, like potatoes, some herbs and so on. But I do also have three rose bushes. From those I'm really proud of because those roses have an amazing smell. I'm always when one of these roses opens I'm like yeah definitely um, in a <laughs> I, I, hard to describe but when I smell those roses it's like it's like heaven it's like heaven <laughs> so this book is actually also really cool that um, Julie chose this book to gift it to me um, because it has some roses in it and I actually do have roses on my balcony love it love roses love kind of gardening, everything. <laughs> Here the story continues. So um, Miss Agatha Hunter is kind of complaining about the friends being loud and noisy and whatever. So you can pause it and read. This is her elderly lady. And you can see here the friends are staying back and Barbie tries to, yeah, calm down the situation to say, oh, there will be um, in an hour or something um, finished so she can go do some grocery store shopping whatever and they will be finished when they're back uh, when she's back so this is kind of the short story next um, story we got here you can pause if you want to read it but this is also a really adorable um, yeah cute cute picture from Barbie and Skipper with the rose here that just has opened Adorable. And here are the friends, Christy, Teresa, Mitch and Ken. So cute. So they're continuing doing the gardening. So here are some plants that Barbie is um, putting in the garden. The story here, <laughs> if you want to read. Then what do we have? So this is the 
story. <laughs> and um, short story about it, Barbie decided to um, surprise um, her neighbor with some roses to plant the, her roses in her backyard. And the neighbor was so surprised and pleased about this gesture. So she was not angry anymore with those um, young people doing gardening. So um, she became kind of a friend. <laughs> and here is the last story. The friends were so pleased about the, the um, kindness of Barbie, so they surprised her and gifted her a flower bouquet, a rose bouquet um, that she can actually plant in her garden. So this is the Barbie ones. Of course, these roses are pink and so on, but these are those, yeah, kind of friends, really cool, love that. This is so far from the story. This is the back of the story, a rose for Barbie. Um, in this charming storybook, Barbie and her friends plant a very special garden. You can grow your own flowers with the special seeds inside the pack, uh, pink packet created just for you. The prize tag. I always love to see prize tags on some yeah, vintage toys, older toys. In US, this book was back then $9.98 and $12.98 Canadian dollars. Um, <laughs> I love those price tags that symbolized how, yeah, back then the things were labeled, how, how yeah, what, what was the worth of those things and um, love it. It's kind of a time travel stamp or something. <laughs> um, here's the publisher if you want to see it and yeah. So far from the only um, Barbie theme thing in here so this was a gift from Julie and I'm so glad and so happy she gave this gifted this to me love it thank you so much at this point Julie again so amazing I love roses I love Barbies that's perfect <laughs> now we are going into the items that I actually purchased there um, from Julie so these are Polly Pockets and Angel Pockets items and I think we just go with one after another. I did not unwrap them, so these are still in the original wrapping. <laughs> this is um, a Polly Pocket one. It is empty. From the outside you would say it's probably Heidi's, um, not Heidi's, is it called Heidi's Alpine Chalet? No, or oh, yes, the pink one. So it was also Christmas and I think this one would have been in the first guess um, Heidi's Alpine Chalet, but they did also an empty one. So this is the empty box from that similar shape of Heidi's Alpine Chalet Polly Pocket. And they don't have this box empty, so it's perfect to store little um, Polly Pockets in it or little other things. Um, so I was glad to um, win the auction there. And this is what came in. So this cute little heart. But I still got more. I got a lot of more. Let's go with this little packaging here. What do we have? Oh, there's actually two pieces. Cute. Um, let me just put this aside. So we go with the ring first. This is uh, a Polly Pocket ring that I also have won in the auction. And it came with, I think, the original doll. And I will write the names of it um, underneath the video. So just right out of the box, I cannot remember all of those names. But this is it, a really cute ring um, that you actually can open and close. And um, the good thing about these older toys is that you can actually enlarge the ring. So it also fits on my fingers that are actually not any um, adult, uh, any uh, children's fingers. So I'm glad that I can put it on some of my fingers here. Um, yeah. Cute, really love it. If this would be a gem, a right ruby, it would be really heavy. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Um, really cool. And um, I'm showing just you the details of it. So this is the, not the normal Polly. So this is a friend of Polly. I'm not actually. I forgot totally about the names of their friends. So um, yes, but cute, and you can actually, of course, take her out. Really adorable. I got a ring now from Polly Pocket. What else do we have? So in this same wrapping was this one here. And I think um, just out of my memories, it's called Carnival, Carnival Polly Pocket or Carnival Queen Polly Pocket. It has the Polly Pocket logo on it and it has really cute um, 
detailing, so it's 3D, you feel the structure of it, and when we open, it reveals the Carnival Queen. This is Polly in her, yeah, <laughs> Carnival theming uh, little compact. The shape of it is actually like a flower. Here's the platform where you actually can place um, Polly on it. And when you are turning these wheels, then Polly is dancing on the turning table. <laughs> this is so cute. I love these artworks on, yeah, these older toys, detailing. So painted on balloons, little ribbons, flowers, so cute. And um, yeah, Polly, actually, this is her. And this Carnival Queen compact came actually also with part of her original th um, yeah, belongings. So we got the Carnival mask. So this is the mask um, for Polly. I think it's broken, or I'm actually not sure how to put it on her. Um, Oh, no, it's not broken. So it got here this little piece that stays out. Maybe you can see it a little bit. And then I think you have to put it on this hole like this. And then it will be like her mask. Then she came with the balloon. So also these balloons are part of, of it. And with two skirts. No, actually, they have three skirts. Actually, I'm not sure if it's complete. I think it's complete. So we got this star skirt that you can put on, on um, Polly, then a little translucent one with points or dots on it. And then we got this like zigzag shaped um, dress. So actually really cool. Love it. I totally forgot that I bought this one. So this is just a surprise for me. <laughs> um, it is discolored. So you can see this should be like the more translucent. This is um, yeah faded and this should be, I think, the original pink. So, um, but for me, it's totally okay because um, in Switzerland, I don't get these things. So um, I'm more than happy that I got it now for my collection, but it's hard, it's hard to find. So proud of it, love it. <laughs> Let's go with the next one. What do we have? Um, or oh, just being, or rest. No, I'm just continuing with the Polly Pocket items. In here, there's actually also some Polly Pocket items. Let me just check what we've got in here. It's a little surprise. Oh, I already can see something. Um, where? Yeah. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, it's actually wrapped again. That's perfect. So it will not break during the shippings. That's amazing. So what do we have here? Two pieces that will not um, belong together, but actually are both of them Polly Pocket, but not in the same, um, I would say, same line. First of all, I have bought this cute headband, this Polly Pocket headband. I love it. It's so adorable. In the center of it, as like kind of a crown, we got Polly. So she's in this um, pink flower and she got some gems on it. So two gems over here and the blue gem in, yeah, on the forehead of Polly. So this reminds me of those gems, um, Polly Pockets, Compacts and Lockets. Really adorable. Then we got on both sides a heart in yellow color. Both of those have a yeah, purple gem in it. Really, really cute. I love it. This is so cute. And um, actually... The, Oh, you can actually those turn them around. That's cool. Also the pearls and the leaves. So um, we got here um, pearls in purple color and or more lavender color and the leaves. You can actually those things turn around. Oh, and here, of course, we got the BB, BBT UK. So Bluebird Toys UK um, headband. Love it. Um, also, these pieces are really hard to find here in Switzerland. It's really hard to come across those things. So um, I was happy that she had the, um, this headband um, on for auction. Um, and I won it, obviously. So it's here. Really adorable. Love this headband. And I also bought this ruler. Um, I am... What, what? How can I say it? So I'm mostly collecting the compacts. Now I'm also going more or coming into um, from uh, lockets, rings and so on. But I also love those like 
practical things. So this ruler was a practical thing. You can take them to school, you can draw some lines and so on. So I'm also a big fan of practical things <laughs> that you can actually use um, in your normal life. <laughs> so um, back then as a kid, you can use this as your ruler, put it in your um, school bag and so on. So I'm also a huge fan of those things. And I, um, yeah, whenever I see some something like this coming up for yeah, auction or for um, to buy, then I'm mostly also in with those things if it's a reasonable price. So you can see here, I think it's, it is actually in cent, no, it's not in centimeters, it's in millimeters. So this is more the um, thing that we in Europe use. Well, actually we use it in centimeters, but um, yeah, here it's written millimeters because millimeters is like smaller than centimeters. And here we got the inches. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six inches. And here um, 10 millimeters is actually one centimeter. So 20 millimeters is actually two centimeters and so on. So this ruler has 15 centimeters on it or six inches. So I know 15 centimeters are like six inches. <laughs> um, really cool. Also written on both sides. Actually, we got here inches and then you turn it around centimeters. You cannot use this ruler upside down, obviously, because, um, yeah, when you put this on the surface, <laughs> it will not stay in place evenly, of course. But this is made like kind of a ring. And here we can see um, Polly in school, actually. So this um, topper here is um, Polly, I think, at school. The pink thing on here reminds me actually of the, um, how was it called? Um, the, the, the one practical thing, it was a huge um, kind of, um, um, what was it called? I actually forgot it, but it reminds me of it. I will write it down in the, cover, in the, in the video here. So it reminds me of, the, of that thing. Um, unfortunately, Polly is not in here, but um, the ruler, it's cool and I love it. And I will probably definitely use this one in my um, home office thing. So yeah. It works. It definitely works. <laughs> now, the last thing that I have bought from Julie is actually a new in-box in thing. And I mentioned so often in my videos that I'm actually not a new in-box um, toy collector, but when I do find something for a reasonable price, I made myself a limit. So like between 20 and 30 um, Swiss francs is my limit. Uh, if it's in that range and I really like it, then I will buy it. Um, yeah, and that was the case with this one here. This one is an angel pocket. Angel pockets are ex yeah, more expensive than poly pockets because angel pockets were created only for the um, Asian market. But on the other hand, poly pockets in Asia are also there, really rare. So it is kind of a collector things, angel pockets that are rare in Europe and America are cheaper in Asia, but poly pockets that are um, here in Europe and America are expensive in Asia. So um, yeah, that's something that collectors do all over the world, they trade to each other. So um, yeah, both of them got like a special thing that was not released in their country. So that's a short story that I want to say. And Julie had um, two of new in box angel pockets um, at her auction. And um, I just wanted one on it. <laughs> so um, one of the auctions, I got the cute angel pocket and it's actually this one here. It is the, um, what was it called? The not restaurant, dinner time. I think it was called dinner time Polly Pocket, actually Angel Pocket. And you can tell it's Angel Pocket because on top of it, we got um, the Angel Pocket logo, 1991, really cool and um, written in languages that I actually cannot read. I would say it's Japanese, Chinese maybe, and so on. So you can write me down in the comment section below what, the, what, it, what it means. Actually, I'm not familiar with those languages, but I love it. It looks cool. <laughs> and I'm guessing just it would say something with Polly Pocket <laughs> or Angel Pocket in this case. And um, amazing. This is a blister still um, with this thing because this, those things 
fall off um, while displaying on the store and so on. And um, really cute picture of it, of um, three of the Polly Angel Pockets dolls. Um, a little information, this is official. So this is official um, Polly Pocket trade. So just as information, um, Polly Pocket usually, or the, the beginning of Polly Pocket was in the UK. So Bluebird Toys created Polly Pocket. They gave the license to Mattel. Mattel is more also in European and in American markets, really huge. And they also got um, the license to um, Bandai. Bandai had then made Angel Pocket. So this is an official Polly Pocket um, name, official Polly Pocket doll, but under the name of Angel Pocket. So they got the license from Bluebird Toys that they can create. So Bandai got the license for it and it's an official one. So. That makes it really cool that three companies, three huge brands, toy brands, um, actually made together the same thing, but in differences. So Angel Pocket is different than Polly Pocket. Angel Pocket got, for example, one of the biggest differences is the um, face from Polly. So she got this like, yes, yeah, smiley face. Um, sometimes they also got like an open mouth face, while on Polly Pocket usually they are like just little dots that indicate a smiling face or so. So that's the difference. Also, um, the interior is different. So um, the color screens, the color, um, yeah, the coloring is different. And you can see here on the picture, for example, like um, the other Polly Pockets got blue hair, pink hair, and the normal Polly Pocket, so they got really also differences in hairstyles and so on. So it is official, but also different. That makes it also really cool and hard to find here in Europe. <laughs> um, this set came with a dog. The animals also got different um, paintings on. So it also can happen that an animal from Angel Pockets got blue points on it, blue dots on it, or is pink and so So that's definitely a difference. Then we got the table, the dinner table, really cute. I'm actually having, I think I have this one here as a ring. Let me just check, then we can do the compare. Here I'm back again. This is the one Polly Pocket that I have with Polly, unfortunately missing the ring. But here we can see the differences. So the interior are totally different. Um, also the outside of the compact is different. We got here blue Polly Pocket and yes, this is really yellow angel pocket, but um, the interior are actually the same. So we've got also an oven, um, cabinets and so on, but different color. And um, that's so cool. <laughs> now I got a new inbox angel pocket from dinner time, um, dinner, dinner time poly pocket. And I will leave it in this blister. I will leave it because the blister is so clear. It's not this colored. It has no breaks in it is only this little thing but that's that's something that I can totally live with it so this is kind of mint condition I would say it is in mint condition and yeah so it will stay in this blister it will stay in there but here just as a compare to um, how the poly pocket came and how the angel pocket came so and you can definitely see this the face of her and her face are different are really different <laughs> but otherwise the interior the same as I mentioned the colors are different what I just have seen on the back of it this is cool <laughs> there's so much written on it um, <laughs> really really um, for me as some someone who cannot read those things um, it's just like too much <laughs> of it on on the back of it but I think it makes sense, <laughs> um, but what I love is that they did these little, yeah, drawings of Polly Pocket, this little kind of comic art, and you can see what other sets are actually in this, um, yeah, kind of toy line. So we got, um, it is called Lulu Speedboat, I think, I think something, bedtime ring and bath time ring, something like that. And here are actually the compacts. All of those are from Angel Pocket. There's also this one here, it's called the Pretty Me, um, play set. We got comb, we got mirror, we got some um, hair accessories, but with the logo of Angel Pocket. So I love these things. I love when there is um, yeah, kind of a, 
information, what else comes with this set, so you can collect them all, <laughs> of course. And here it says how you can put Polly inside of her ring. Here it is a car, but actually she is um, on her dinner table, how it works and so on. So, And here are some, num some phone numbers in case you got some struggles or whatever. <laughs> That's so cool! Love it! I love it! It's amazing! And I love that I got now another piece from Angel Pocket in my collection. I do have some compacts. Well, some, what is it? Maybe five or so compacts from Angel Pocket. And now I got this new inbox blister. Love it! So that is it actually. That was all in this box that um, Julie sent it to me and these were all the things that I purchased for her, uh, from her um, that is now joining my collection actually. And I'm so so happy. They're so amazing things. And um, just as a little note, there is another packaging on the way to me. So, um, but in that packaging it's more Barbie stuff. So you can be excited also for that packaging. So I'm waiting for it. And of course, I will also do an unboxing on that packaging because I love unboxings. It's always a surprise. It's always a surprise. I love it. Now, I hope you really enjoyed this video about my unboxing, about my purchases from America. Please write me down in the comment section below. What was your favorite thing that was in here? Um, click the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we will see us in the next video with Vintage Gaudi. Bye!